University of Minnesota Twin Cities. I go to school at the University of Colorado in Boulder. I am pre-law, business and marketing education, and political science. I'm studying aerospace engineering. This is what happens when a business and engineering minds collide. Does it work? <laughs> So the question that we chose for this video is in what specific ways do you want your work in the aerospace community to make life better for others? We currently are both interns at NASA's Johnson Space Center. So we're going to take you on a little, little tour. It's really crucial that people recognize that both perspectives are super necessary and both perspectives are underrepresented in aerospace. Especially so for women. One thing I really want to do is inspire women more generally in the engineering perspective because I was the only girl at my community college in engineering classes. That was really hard to get through it with all guys. It can be super intimidating. People are giving us weird looks. Both of us have been in the minority before. Yep. For me, I'm in the startup community and I'm not always represented or like I know there's not a lot of executives who are females and there's a frog over there. For me, I'm not amazing at STEM, but I still love STEM, and I feel like people are like, I'm not good at science and math. I don't want to pursue any sort of field like that. From someone who isn't particularly good at anything like that, you can still fall in love with it. I think kind of being a face for that and being really vocal about it is really important to both Dallas and I. I want girls to feel like they can do what I do because not a lot of people even know about engineering that it's more than car space. We can explore. In terms of innovation, how do you think that you can help the aerospace community? As I previously mentioned, I really like working with startups. That means building things from the ground up, whether that's startups that are new or whether that's helping people build or building ideas. I just really like creating. I'm creating right now code that has never been made before. The whole reason I was hired was to bridge the gap between autonomy and humans and how we can fix that. Jenna and I were pretty much trying to change people's thoughts and expectations on the culture of aerospace culture change. Alice and I have talked a lot about changing people's expectations of what the industry is. Before I got into the industry, I know that I've talked to a lot of people who speak of it like a pipe dream. For people like minorities and girls, when you get older, they aren't aware of the opportunities. And so that, that leaves a really big gap of people who just aren't being recruited. It's only seen as like a pipe dream and then you go into it. So there's a big middle area where we're not approaching that and no one's talking about this industry. For us, is talking more about that. Talk about talking about it. Think about all the people who don't even know what the International Space Station is. Oh, well, do you know what the ISS is? And they're like, no. What is that? And I'm like, well, what? <laughs> that is horrifying. You need more people in the military. You need more people on the plane side to make it cheaper and faster and safer. And you also need people in space to help us explore and learn. There's like only 25% of women in aerospace. And when you break it down, there's only like 2% are like mechanics. And it's not growing. And if it is growing, it's not growing fast enough. I agree. So unless people are talking about it, it's, it's not going to change. Statistics aren't going to change. There aren't going to be more pe like people of color or women unless there's more people who are visible and more people talking about it. Exactly.